Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. This is Carrie, the artist who creates Curiosity's art dolls. And in this video, I'm customizing Applewhite from Ever After High. And I'm making her to look like Harley Quinn from Suicide Squad. This is the fifth Harley Quinn doll that I've created and the second Suicide Squad version. With the first Suicide Squad version, I used a Blondie Locks doll. And I've always wanted to do a version with Applewhite. I'm also showing the dolls at a convention in March of 2017. So I wanted to have a Harley Quinn to show there. So those are the reasons why I'm doing yet another Harley Quinn. For this custom, I'm actually using a different sealant. As you may know, I'm pretty dedicated to the Mr. Hobby, Mr. Super Clear Flat Sealant. However, if you're a customizer, you know that it's expensive, it's difficult to find, it's very toxic, and it can take a really long time to be delivered if you're ordering in the States. So the sealer that I'm using for this doll is Mr. is not Mr. Super Clear, it's Doll Coat Sealant by Testers. So I purchased a three ounce bottle on Amazon for a little under $20. Um, and just a side note, if you order one, make sure that you're not ordering the paint, that you're actually ordering the Doll Coat varnish. They look very similar. So compared to Mr. Super Clear, I usually pay about $25 approximately, so it's a few dollars more. And the can for, of Mr. Super Clear is about twice as much. The text is in Japanese, so I'm not quite sure, but it looks to be about six ounces, as opposed to the three ounce can of testers. Also comparatively, it took about a month for me to get it in the mail, which is pretty much the same time it takes for me to get a can of Mr. Super Clear. So when I started customizing, I sprayed the doll like I typically do with Mr. Super Clear, holding it about a foot away from the doll and giving it a light coat. At that point, I'll tell you, I almost immediately abandoned ship because it was short, sort of drenched, drenched the face. It looked like it was soaking wet and it made me really worried that it was going to end up being really shiny or sticky instead of the flat look that most of us customizers typically look for in our sealants. However, I stuck it out and I kept moving forward and was pleased to see that when it dried, it looked quite matte. So I thought I'd be okay there. Um, it did seem to take a little bit longer to dry than Mr. Super Clear does though. So with the initial color, adding on the watercolor pencil, I almost abandoned ship again because I could tell an immediate difference. The difference was a little like the difference between writing on paper which would be Mr. Super Clear, and writing on glass, which was the tester's doll coat. It just didn't take the pencil. But after some elbow grease, and started, it started to take, and I proceeded to add more color. And I noticed the color was building up pretty well, and so I continued to paint as usual. But I was getting a hand cramp the whole time. <laughs> so just some comparative notes. Uh, while they are very close in price, or pretty close in price, just a few dollar difference, um, you seem to get more with Mr. Super Clear. I think a, a couple more ounces at least. However, it does seem like you have to use it less with the testers because you spray it very lightly, but it seems to make a really good solid coat. Um, sadly, I don't see any difference with how toxic the product is. It still seems just as highly toxic as Mr. Super Clear, so as always make sure to use it in a well ventilated area and I would suggest outside definitely and using a mask in addition to doing it outside. I would say the best part of testers is while it seemed like it was really wet when you sprayed it it did dry nice and matte and it seems like you don't have to use as much to get a really nice coat. Also while the testers does not indicate that it is UV cut and I worry a little bit about fading over time, it does seem like this it seals really well because I noticed when I added coats in between the drawing that if I needed to erase, the artwork underneath was not budging. That's something that I run into sometimes with Mr. Super Clear is I'll wanna save my work, I'll do a coat of sealant, and then I'll draw some more and if I erase, it can sometimes erase the work that I've completed underneath that coat of sealant. So with testers, it wasn't doing that. So that's really an excellent um, point. 
The downsides are that the blendability was not great. When it came to blending the pencil and the pastel both, it, it was more of a smudge than a blend. I could see it getting muddy very easily, so I had to be really careful with adding color. But I made it work, and it, 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 with practice, I'm sure it would work for most people. All in all, I'd say that if this product is more readily available to you and less expensive in your area, it's a decent alternative to Mr. Super Clear. For me though, I'm gonna sit, stick with Mr. Super Clear for now. So I hope this information was helpful. If you like this video, I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe, that would be great. And comment below if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.